guys, it's Lisa, and I just got my two boxes from um, Goodwill Blue Box that came from New Jersey. The very first thing I pull out, of course, is the most awesome alligator. <laughs> it's just so cool. I need to work on this a little bit. I mean, it's, you know, it's nothing like super expensive, but just so darn fitting as I sit here in a room with a dragon and a snake and oh about seven geckos and and a dog <laughs> let me shut my door real quick hang on okay so this is just the first box um actually they both came in the same box they were in um plastic bags which is always really nice um, this is the second thing I've got and there's a little how white earring this is oh this is coming apart so lots of black beads in case I need those uh, here's one of those silver collar things And we've got an AB, very nice, um, AB choker, very flashy, it's very nice. Okay, um, let's see here, there's another earring, that one almost looks like, I thought it was a windmill at first. Um, this is really tangled up. Here's something that's not tangled. These are plastic beads. You know, I mean, I'm looking at it and it's not really making me overly excited. Black sparkly bangle. But they, they're nice. Nice things that will go good in lots. That's cute. Let's see if this has a signature on it. Although I'm, I have so many lots right now and nobody's even buying them for like, you know, $15, $20 a piece. So yeah, there's that. Uh, here's some cool beads that I will definitely cut off and put to use. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because I need eight of them for spider knees and feet. So that'll be good for spiders. I'll put that over there. Um, trying to find things that aren't actually... This is cute. Hang on. Gotta let Bindi out. Make up your mind, dear. She'll probably be scratching to come back in in a second, but hubby's working from home today, and I didn't want to disturb him any more than I needed to. Little blue earring. Oh, we were on this. This is cute. It's got a little love. It's cute. Silver earring. I have been queen of silver hoop earrings lately. Um... This one appears to be quite interesting. Hmm. Well, it's just way too tangled for right now. Put it aside. Another little bangle. Little earring. Here's a handmade bracelet oh, another necklace with big beads these beads have black lace over them that's kind of cool to make kind of a neat spider it's got a really webby sort of look to it that would be really cool okay we'll save those put these with those um, here's another kind of wooden beads. I'm um, not sure what the silver one is, but it's kind of cool. 
See how badly those are knotted up? That's going to take me a while, and I'm not going to do that to you guys. So, <laughs> um, there's that one. This appears to be uh, shell beads, and let me find the clasp on this one. I'm wondering if the little oh yeah, no, I guess not. I was wondering if the little gold beads might be actual gold, but it it's just got a one of these barrel clasps. These are kind of cool charms, these silvery looking charms. They're rather heavy. They, oh, I see it's wearing off there, but they're cool. Um, another big clunky thing. Earring. Um, shell necklace over here. Another hoop. This one is more of a rose gold, so it doesn't actually match this one, but they're very close. Same design on them. They probably came in the set, you know. Um, do kind of a brass thing in there. This orange one is nice. If I could actually get it out. Wheel. It's going to take me a while. So and with the blue blue beads will be pretty, I think. Probably several at uh, several tiers. I like these beads. They're plastic, but they're cool. Very faceted. Like that gross pink satin ribbon. There's that. Some pony beads. Ooh, I saw something pretty over here. Ooh. Get this pretty earring. That's neat. Oh, and this was also in there too. I found it and stuck it on my finger. Kind of a neat little ring. Um, I don't think I'm going to... I think I've gotten everything out of here that I could have for now. Rather than keep you guys watching me untangle stuff. Forever and ever and ever. Another one of these. Um, it's kind of a nice bangle. I don't see any signature on it though. Oh, I found the other earring that goes with that one. So stick those together. Those are metal. Very 70s, I think. Possibly 80s. A little handful of stuff that's on the bottom. Ooh, here we go. Oh, that's a cute little ring. It's got some writing on it. Something makes me say this might be Avon. Let's see. No, it does not say Avon. It says it says 18. Carrot RGF rose gold filled. Yes, I can't tell if that's an F or P. That's a P. So it's gold plated. I think it was saying it's rose gold plated. Okay, take that out. Um, here's another little ring that's cute. Um, don't see any markings on this one. But it's cute. Where's my? I've been working on. <laughs> my desk is a mess. I've been working on stuff. That could possibly be silver. Looks like it might be a homemade kind of thing. Um, I've been making pens. That's a pretty one. This one's really well made. It's it'd be nice to find the other one of those. That's pretty cool. I forgot to turn on my presidium, but there. <laughs> Maybe I'll test those and see if they're anything interesting. Cute little tassel. That's a nice one. Ribbly in the middle. Okay, just sort of pearly thing there. 
No markings on that one. No markings on this one. It's very nice. That strikes me as probably a Monet or something. Yeah. Not sure what that is. Just a button, I guess. This is pretty. Kind of a neat bracelet. It's more of a um, Native American kind of color theme in a way. Here we get some interesting things. Ooh, look at this one. Fancy. There's another little one. Oh, this is nice. Missing a pearl, but no markings. It's a pretty bracelet. It's got a $10 price tag on it. I like that. It's very sparkly. Charming Charlie, that's what that one came from. Ooh. Random bead, obviously something broke. But that's cool, that's a wooden bead. I like that. Oh, that's cool. Ceramic pendant. Um, hmm. This could be sterling, or not. <laughs> Maybe not. Here's a matching earring to that blue one, but they're both missing some stones, so don't get too excited about that. And it's stuck really, really strongly. Sounds kind of cool. Kind of um, Middle Eastern design. There's any markings on it. It's got little bitty stones in there that are clear. A lot of rings down here. Let's check these rings out. Ooh. Okay, there's the other one of that, those that matches. Oh, and I found the other one of this. Cool, I really like these. Let's see. Let's see if the Presidium thinks they have anything. These could be like, I don't know. Nope, just glass, but they're pretty. Okay. Yeah, it's just, if you could feel them, you'd see what I mean. They were quite heavy and smooth, the gold part. So Nice. Um, black sort of sparkly ring. I do not see markings on this one. It's a nice little blue dome ring. Again, no markings. This one, just a little silvery ring. It's got some silver coming off. But this one appears to be made out of wood. Oh, there's something broken off of it. Or no, that's not wood. That's some um, stone. It's a pretty little rhinestone one. Okay. There's a cool pair of earrings. Those appear to be made out of some kind of bone, maybe? Oh, wood. And some thread. Those are pretty cool. Uh, grab some more stuff out of the bottom here. Because all the chains are all tangled up. Oh, there's the mate for that one. A couple of kind of gunmetal chain colored bangles there. Cool. Um, I think I saw, didn't I have another one of these? Or did I? No, maybe not. I thought I did. Okay. Oh, there's a cute little heart ring. It's got some markings on the inside that says, it's funny how no matter how, which way you pick it up, it's always the other direction. This one says 18 karat RGP. So that one is gold plated. I'm going to leave it right there. That looks cute. I think we 
think I've ever gotten so many rings. Oh, that's nice. Kind of a champagne colored stones in that one. Acrylic. Got a lot of these kind of unearringed earrings in here. There's a couple more. Sometimes these can be gold or silver. Not those, <laughs> obviously. There's a nice flashy ring. Ooh. Another one. These are just really costume jewelry-ish ones. This is, um, yeah. Okay. I don't know what this is. It feels like plastic. Oh, here's a little teeny tiny butterfly. It's cute. Oh my, look at this one. Woo! No, no markings on the inside, but boy, that's blingy, isn't it? Oh, it's one of those shells that's dipped in gold. You know, I found several of these, and uh, they do kind of tend to sell well. Obviously, the hardware isn't gold, but I think maybe the um, part that it's dipped in could be. Very interesting, very 80s. The top of this. Gross, a hair tie, neat button. Uh, another little silver ring. Let's test this one out. No, it could be. Um, yes, there is some writing in here let us see 925 so i'll test this one for silver for sure another little ring it looks like something might be in here it looks more like it's a laser printed than um oh it's got a name but I, if i oh, i cannot read it oh uh Something folly, tell folly, folly. Looks like F. Oh, fella folly. I don't know that one. Well, I definitely will be looking into. It's missing a couple of teeny tiny stones. I think I'll put these all over here. It's the end of a tie tack. Found the other little sparkly butterfly. I wonder if those are silver. Oops. <laughs> no, they are not. Cute little apple charm. Oh, there's the other golden shell earring. Oops. Another one of these. Ring. Oh, goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is cute. He needs another little jewel on his throat, but who does that remind you of? Hmm? Let's see. A little witch riding a broomstick on this net bracelet, I guess. And it's got the kitty cat tangled up in it. So I will work on those later. Another blingy ringy. That's pretty. Don't see any signatures on it, but that's pretty. Ooh, this is neat. Ooh, I like that. I really like that. That would be fun for a lot of things. <laughs> and some little shells. Um, let's see what this says on it. This says 925, so that might be silver. Or not. <laughs> you never know, right? Okay. 
Okay, here's a pendant and a Happy Easter basket earring. Um, I think that's the other half of that. There's a cool wooden necklace. Earring with pretty A B. Oh, here's a nice bangle. Oh my gosh. This is like this is I think this is the worst tangleage I've ever had, and I feel really bad for keeping you guys watching this craziness. Oh, that's pretty. This reminds me a lot of that ring with the Follies one, wherever I put it, over here. Same sort of a flower. Yeah, maybe not. It does have something written on the back. Um, and I really can't tell what that is, but it's nice. It's a very nice little dainty necklace. Hmm. I don't know. I will have to research that further. And here's the other orange Indian sort of designed one. There we go. Middle Eastern kind of thing. Almost like a paisley, you know? Get this little guy out of there. He is so cute. This is so cute and so nicely put together. Wow. Oh, it's Swarovski. It's got the little swan. Nice. That is a Swarovski crystal necklace. There we go. I'm totally putting that one aside. There's a little wrap bracelet. Uh, hmm. Oh my gosh. This is like hopelessly tangled. So this bracelet is actually kind of cool. It's one of those ones that you zip on like that. Uh, well, it would take me forever. So there's, in this pile, there's that. There's a big long chain with these shapes. There's that little bit of awesomeness that I'm going to get loose. Um, there's this one with these red things on it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, here's this. Well, it's like fishing, you know? Like, you ever pulled up like a like a small bunch of twigs from a creek and you pull it up and there's all kinds of crawfish and things in there? <laughs> oh, that's what it reminds me of. That's cute kind of unshiny in places, but I think maybe it's supposed to be that way. Hard to tell. There's that. Lots and lots of tangles. Okay. Oh, look, here's another one of those blue earrings. So now I have three. All right. Oh, and I actually put this loose. Thing is I'm not finding anything to um, to unlatch. Everything's latched. <clears throat> oh, there's one. I can unlatch that. Oh, a tad. Oh, almost. We're almost there. Yay! Okay. So this has actually got like gold chain. So that's neat. I really like that. We'll keep that out with the Swarovski crystal one. Um, yeah. It's cute. It's a bow earring. It's metal. <laughs> There's that. Another just little seed bead necklace. 
And just a little metal ring. Let's see what this is. Very dainty little necklace. That's nice. That's cute. I love little dainty necklaces. This one. And it's very small. <laughs> I mean, it would have to be for a child, I think. Okay, what else have we got here? Oh, here's that other, the other one of these. Okay, here's just a plain Mickey gold chain. No markings. Uh, bangle. Did you guys, um, I was watching my friend Lisa's video about how to turn bangles into dream catchers and I had some cool ideas. There's some, hold on. This is one of those ones, so it's several strands and then it shuts with a button over there. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, yeah. Um, that's what's been tangling everything up is this. This will be fun to use in my artwork because I'm always looking for flowing greenery type things. Here is the other blue pendant. It looks like that was handmade because of the way it's wrapped right there. So it looks like how light to me. Here's a cute little necklace. Sort of a handmade one with wooden and glass beads. Okay, this is just one bag, you guys. So, I've been doing this silver and gold one. I see something on that one. It has a tag that says, what does it say? It looks like VJ. I should know that. No, V. Yeah, it looks like VJ. gold chain. I mean, silver looking chain. Not gold, not silver, but a lot of chain. And it's attached to that guy. So I'll put that over there. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty. There's that other earring. And then a bunch of what really just looks like chains. Here's that other earring. I like that one. Oh, and the other Rivoli, Rivoli. Somebody please tell me how to pronounce that. Karen? <laughs> There's a dream catcher. And then just these two kind of chainy things left here. And that. And. And I got this mess over here that looks just like, like a black and silver with the Rolla chain. I know Steffi likes that. <laughs> oh man. This is like one big giant thing. If you can see what I mean. There's that. And there's that little one is in there. This thing, I think, has lots of, okay, it's got lots of tears to it, see? And it's getting hang up on the, hung up on the jump rings over here. What the heck? Okay, now I see. Well, you know what? I'm going to work on that later. However, there's some writing on the, um, the bale. 
something came off of this bale. It's probably in there. Oh, wait. This says Marilyn Sheaf or Schlepp on the back of it. Okay, so yeah. That one is signed. It's a very long one. Looks like. Anyway, there's writing on the bale here, on this little piece, and it says 18K uh, GP, so gold plated, I'm assuming. And a random little filigree earring. Those those are those will be fun for my craft box. So, yeah. Pretty much it. Um, just random loose beads left in the bag there. And I will put this all back where it goes and open the next one.